Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an HP Chromebook 11 G6. I'm gonna show you how to get in, access your battery. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're gonna then flip it over, access our bottom case screws. So we have three screws on either side and then two there in the middle. I'm gonna take all those screws out. One little reminder here about screws in computers is that not all screws are the same size. If you notice that one's kind of long and all the other screws in this bottom case are shorter. The longer ones go here. So as you go through a computer, make sure you're setting aside the screws. You know which screws go where because uh, they're not all the same size. And if you put the wrong screw into the wrong hole, you could damage some components. After you've taken all the screws up, we're going to flip the computer around. And then you see this seam going across your palm rest. We're going to take our small flat pry tool. We're going to go across that seam all the way across and pry the palm rest up from the base of the computer. So now that the palm rest is released, we can't just tear it right off. If you guys can see in there, there's a large ribbon cable coming from your keyboard that's connected to the motherboard. And there's a, a smaller ribbon cable coming from the touchpad that's connected. So we have to unconnect those before just ripping off the palm rest. I'm gonna take my small flat plastic pry tool and I'm gonna unconnect those. And then I'm gonna show you what I did once I can get you a, a better angle. So that's how you would get your palm rest off. The way that I got those cables out, the large ribbon cable from the keyboard went here, the small ribbon cable from the touchpad went there. I'll zoom in on that. The way to operate these, you've gotta be very careful because the clips are very fragile. If it breaks, you most likely won't be able to find a replacement and then your ribbon cable won't ever be secure again. So make sure you don't break these. The way to do it, you slide it under the black clip and that pops it up. And if it doesn't pop it up, just give it a little angle and then I'll pop it up. It opens almost like a book cover. And after I unplug it, I like putting it back down just for safety so it doesn't get caught on anything. This one is a little smaller and the clip is white, but same thing, you just pop the white clip up, take the ribbon cable out, and then put the white clip back down. And again, very fragile, be very careful. To remove your battery, you have these screws here. And you have these screws here holding down your speakers and your battery, kind of a stupid design, but you've actually got to take up your speakers and unrun the speaker wire that's woven into the bottom of the battery to get the battery up. Now to unplug the battery, the battery plugs in right here and there's some black tape on it. I'm going to take my small plastic pry tool and try to get that tape up so I can show you how we're gonna unplug this battery. Be careful when peeling up tape from cables. Sometimes it's very sticky, and if you just rip it off, you can damage the cable that it's stuck to. Okay, so right there, when you guys peel that black tape up, you can see in your computer that the battery plug has a grip on either side, so you don't have to pull on the wires to unplug it. You can use a pry tool pushing on either side, or you can use your fingernails on either side like I'm gonna do, and just grab the grip on either side and pull the battery plug out like that. And now that it's unplugged and unscrewed, we're gonna take our speakers up just a little bit. There we go. So I took up this speaker first. I'm gonna unrun the wire through the battery and then the battery can come out by itself. For those of you that want the battery specs, this is an HP part number GM02XL. Uh, there's also an HP spare part number here, 917725-855. I'll have that information below in the description. And if you guys needed any replacement batteries or any replacement parts or tools that you use for this computer, I'll have a link above, also below in the description with all those tools and, and replacement parts for this specific model. 
So that's the video, how to access your battery. I hope it was helpful. Again, if you're looking for a replacement battery or any other replacement parts in this specific model computer, that link below in the description will have a list of them, as well as any tools or supplies that you may need to access the inside of this model computer. As always, please like and share if this video was helpful, if you think it can help someone else. Feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further and leave a small donation, there's a couple different ways you can do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. Thank you so much for watching guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.